everyone, and welcome to the Coon Rapids Ice Center for CTN's live coverage of boys high school hockey. It's a Northwest Suburban Conference showdown as the Elk River Elks take on the Coon Rapids Cardinals. Joe Yund along with Howie Shapiro and Jerry Grant for tonight's action. And Jerry, another test for these Cardinals. Can they compete with a really good team? Because these Elk River Elks come in pretty strong. Yeah, they do. They have won four games. Tied one, lost one, they beat Spring Lake Park 5-0, two dice out, and then last weekend they lost to Maple Grove 4-1 with an empty net goal. So this is a big game because if Coon Rapids can beat this team, Elk River, they can leapfrog themselves into fifth place in the Northwest River Conference. Yeah, and it, how he, as he mentioned, Elk River playing really well. The loss to Maple Grove, the tie was against Rogers, currently ranked number eight yeah. in the state. They've played really well against really good teams. They are a, a team that does, isn't going to score as much as Coon Rapids, but they play very strong defensively. Their top three scorers, their three captains, but it's their defensive captain that leads the way on the ice. Yeah, Elk River's built from the net out. They've got a very solid goaltender, but Cooper Anderson leads the way. He spends uh, more than 30 minutes uh, on the ice. Every other shift, he's out there. He's really their leader, and as they go, as he goes, they go. So five goals, 12 assists, he's obviously 17 points, but he is so solid out there, and he leads that power play. He's gonna be a tough four for the Cardinals to keep in check. Well, and for, for Coon Rapids, they are an offense that uh, leads the state of Minnesota, putting up wow. over five and a half goals per game, and they get a lot of contribution from a lot of different guys. Yeah, they do. Well, you look at Engberg and Barsness and Tisa in that first line, that's 82 points between the three guys, and that's a lot of scoring. And you'll see Engberg out there. He's got 20 points himself, so he's a catalyst on that, that unit and does a lot of nice things to balance that out. Yeah, and he's the one, he's the grinder on, on of the group, uh, pokes the puck free and gets after it. He's fun yeah. to watch. And they're going to need that. They're going to need to be strong defensively. Yeah. Uh, if they can get, they're not going to score seven against this Elk River team. Uh, so they need to shore yeah. up the defensive end and prove that they can mm -hmm. play at that level with the good teams. Uh, that's the kind of thing they, they need to do in order to advance uh, once playoff time comes. And it's just around the corner. We're going to drop the puck between the Cardinals and the Elk River Elks right after this. at the Coon Rapids Ice Center and hey, right in your living room, former Cardinal head coach, Steve Wataki. Steve Wataki here in attendance. He hasn't been here for a while. It's good to see him. Longtime friend of mine. Asked him when he coached the, coached the Cardinals. He said, I, I don't remember. A long time ago. It was between Rue, between both Rue stints. And it was sometime in the early 2000s. Yep. Well, you, that we know. It yep. was still, a, it, we still, it was uh, still over at Cook Arena. Over at Cook Arena. Yep, over at Cook Arena is correct. He coached JV, coached varsity. Great Speaking guy. Speaking of coaches, that's Ben Gustafson. Yep. Had a nice chat with him today. And what did he tell you? He told me, he says, is Jerry Grant going to be there? I said, absolutely. He said, uh, said, uh, he said that's too bad. <laughs> he said, they, he's, they, the one problem they've been having, they've been taking a lot of penalties. Okay. And he said, we need to stay out of the box yeah. just because they know how much Coon Rapids can score. Shorthanded is not going to be their friend. Yes. Defensively, as you mentioned, Howie, they build from the goalie out. They yep. actually have two goalies with really good numbers. Yep. Uh, starting netminder, Greniak with a saves percentage of 91.9. .9. Cardinals getting it in deep, getting in on the attack. Tristan Golan swings it, swings it down low. Alps able to break the zone. Alphen sends it back in, and here comes Cooper Anderson. 
ahead into the zone. Hansberger plays it across way well out of the reach of Mears. He slides it back behind the net. Scooped up there by Barsness. Ahead for Engberg. Chips it into the zone. Gives chase. He'll get there first. Swept it back toward the slot. Intercepted, though, by Babcock. And back the other way comes Elk River. One fired into the far corner by Mears. Cardinals recover. Tyson chips it to center. Stopped up there by Mason Tell. Bobbled a bit by Kreit. He takes the shot. Cardinals regroup. Hazelwood's pass slowed. And now Tyson will dump it in deep. That's good. Putts in, putts out. Keep that puck down there as much as you can. Centering pass stopped up by Hazelwood. Alfin swings it up the boards. Shot from the point by Tell, didn't get through. Chance down low, a backhand and a huge save by Wagner. Whistle blows and... Mm, that's yeah. why they call it the dirty part of the ice. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's dirty. Howie, and you had a conversation with the Cardinal coaching I, staff. I, I did. Tristan, he, 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 talked Tristan about, Creech. He, he talked about Will Wagner, guys, and he said he's going to have to have a big game for us tonight. And, it's a good yeah. opportunity. Nice save there. And, you know, yeah, I don't think Wagner had that frozen. No. That's why Bresnahan was trying to freeze it to his pad and then took Creech down as he got a stick in there. That shot didn't make it through the traffic. Bowden sweeps it along to Alfin into the zone. Alfin across the top of the circles, a shot. Glove save and a hold for Gavin Greniak. That was a good shot. I like that. I like that he cut across there, used the defender as a screen, and got a nice shot off. You know, Elk River, very, they were very strong in front of the net. We'll talk about that when they're down on the offensive end. But, uh, you know, Cardinals were making sure that uh, that they got to keep guys away from the front of their net. Yeah, as the Elk River player did there, he kept yep. going away from the goalie. And, uh, defensively for Elk River, they want to keep Coon Rapids wide if they can tonight. Tyson centering. It's taken away, though by Easton Johnson in at the other end. Ooh, they are Anderson going for back door play, aren't they? Yeah, sent it, sent it across just out of the reach of Easton Johnson. Good place to play the puck. It is. Solid hit by Tandon Bush along the far boards. Played along to Tyson. He gets it back to Novak. He's tied up there. Puck comes free and another hit. Bars this, gets it ahead for Engberg into the zone. Engberg trying to get around the corner and his stick lifted at the last second by Hayden Jasper. Yeah, he he wasn't great, even able to get a good shot up. Yeah, he had a great opportunity there. A nice play to lift the stick. Hazelwood snaps it in on Greniak. It's pretty easy save. Another offensive zone faceoff though for the Cardinals just about three minutes into this first period. Well, Jerry Coach Rock said, do we have to be good inside both dots? I mean, that, that's really important for us tonight mm -hmm. if we're going to beat this Elk River team because, you know, they, uh, their coach, uh, Gustafson, said the last 15 days they've been playing really, really well, and they think okay. they're starting to hit their stride. Yeah. Mears into the zone on the far side, sends it in on net. Wagner sticks it away. Cardinals trying to regroup off the near boards. Comes to Hazelwood. He skates to center. Alpha now into the zone, out of the reach of Kerber, plays it out front. It trickles in on Greniak, and he covers it up. That's good. I'd like to see some of the Cardinal players down in there in the blue crease area getting the, the grease pan. I guess the new wording for that. Oh, that's the new word? Mixing it up. Yeah, I hear them say that all the time when you watch PCHA yep. hockey with the announcers there for St. Cloud and some of those teams. There's head coach Rock. Faceoff went into the referee's skate, but the referee can't win the faceoff. That one hops over the stick of Hazelwood at the blue line, and now a two-on-one. Taking it as Mears, the save by Wagner. He stumbles, trying to get back to his net. Fortunately, the puck played into the corner. Cardinals get numbers and at least slow the Elks down. Hansberger sends it back in deep. Mears waits along the end board. He's pinned there by Bresnahan. Bresnahan. Scoops the puck out of the pile and skates it up ice. Bowden has it slip off his stick. Coon Rapids in offside. They'll have to tag up. That good recovery. A little turnover in the neutral zone led to a Elk River rush there. Hansberger lost it. It went right past Mears. 
Little sloppy pay on both sides at center ice. Creech is shot in on goal. Wagner bobbles but covers. And we'll have a face off of the Coon Rapids end. Yeah, Wagner got that puck, a little bit of a bobble there. He has to settle down and kind of glove that thing and control your crease. Yeah, he's got to be careful, too. Unfortunately, there were no Elk River players in front of the oh, net at that yeah. point in time. But, but they're paying attention. You know they're going to be hanging out. Yep. Off the draw, Luke Rising able to skate to center, and that's going to be icy. Yep. He was one on two. The player closed him up. He saw that and didn't get the red line, and that's an icing. That's why you have back check hard. You have forced those turnovers, and you can then hopefully get a draw and get a good scoring opportunity. Clark able to win the draw for Coon Rapids. Bandit Brent. Tandon Bush sends it up the boards, held there by Jasper. Near boards, Clark able to fight through a stick and get it out to center. Quick regroup at the blue line for Elk River. Sent back in deep, no back there first. Round for Rising, Luke Rising tried to chip it ahead. That was intercepted. Sperling plays it back and now setting up at the point is Anderson, his shot went wide or a Jasper rather. Here's Anderson with it. He'll send it in deep and around. Cardinals getting some fresh legs in. Engberg fanned on the pass attempt. Now we'll get it across for Barsness. Barsness chips it in on the backhand, gives chase. Anderson there first. Barsness takes him to the boards. Collected by Mason Tell. Played out to center. Engberg turns it around. Went off of Tyson. Tyson pokes at the Rolling puck, finally able to control it, get it to lay down. Now we'll take a shot. Barza has tried to tip, but missed. Back the other way comes Easton Johnson. Played across and down, but not enough on it for Tyson. Funny bounce there. A lot of traffic in front, but Peterson misses the net. Peterson will get it back again to the line. Tells shot, deflected, going wide, bounces free. Collected again by Dylan Peterson. Trying to circle out of the corner. He flips it on net, the glove save by Wagner, and we'll have another faceoff in the Cardinal end. The well, last time I talked with Joe about one thing that's very important, first on pucks. Last four minutes, Elk River has been on first on a lot of pucks. Well, oh, they, they really have, and they're putting a lot of the pressure on. They're out shooting the Cardinals here early on, 8-2. Eight, eight to two. Yeah, it was 2-2 two, two, so about four minutes ago, but they're they're going into their game plan, which is get that puck. Face-off win, quick shot, Wagner the save. This top line is dangerous. That's where the Elks get most of their points. Shot from the line by Anderson. Padded away by Wagner. Cardinals chip to center. Anderson stops it up. Hansberger got it to uh, Mears. Mears couldn't get it deep. Now here's Hansberger, top of the circles. His shot blocked. Bowden gets to it. Right to Anderson walking in. Lost the handle. Hansberger through traffic, well, trickles wide. Good thing, didn't see it at all. Anderson plays it around. Mears with it. Elks got the Cardinals running around in their own zone, and now Alphen able to get it out to center. Golan puts Anderson on his backside. Elks flip it up and into the zone. Not enough for icing. Yeah. Novak battling in the corner with Babcock. Digging it free is Mears. Bumped off it. Golan gets it to Alphen. He gets it out to center. Gets the red line, shovels it in, and gets off the ice. Yeah, you see that Elk River defensive structure now. They're playing really well as a unit. Now that's their strength as we talked about. And they're just, they're really doing a really ni nice job of outplaying the Cardinals here early on in this period. Yeah, there's always two guys to go through. They're real, yep. good, real good structure. Yep. Couple of back-to-back -back turnovers. The other way comes Stahlberger. Uh, Stahlberger. Hampered and couldn't get as much of a, as good a shot as he wanted on in close. Yeah, but he got the corner and got in there on the backhand. So that was first attempt in a while. So that was good to see. Well, that's the Cardinals need to do. They've got to put some pucks on net. And and maybe hope for an opportunity for a rebound at this yeah. point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's got to keep doing what they're doing. Yep. Earlier, they were the ones dumping the puck yep. in and getting the four check. Now Elk River's doing a lot more of that, and they're getting the pucks first after they dump it in. Clark centering, comes out to the point. Hazelwood through traffic, stick save by Greniak. 
Behind the net, Kerber plays it around. Elks get it out to center. Gavin Sperling into the zone, across on his forehand, trying to go to the back door. That hit the skates of Hazelwood and went back to the short side. Bresnahan poking at it, able to get it back out to neutral. Good effort. Sperling right back on the attack, bumped off it by Bresnahan. Barsness recollects, poked away from him. Bresnahan to Engberg, and he sweeps it in deep. Anderson behind his own net, off the boards, right at the blue line is Preston Holmes. Shot, blocker save, up into the rafter, waiting on it like center field is Will Wagner in the basket catch to get the whistle. Good thing, because that puck would hit the ice. Who knows where it would have bounced to. Guys, Preston Holmes, one of their better players, missed the, the first half of the season. He was out with Mono, now back. Really important player in their lineup. Yeah. He's got speed and he's in really good hands, and it's a, it's a player they rely on. And well, depth. And, yeah. Well, and they're... They, don't, they haven't scored as much as the Cardinals. Nope. They, they, they have six guys with double-digit points. But what I found impressive is 12 goals for Mears. And then you got one, two, three, four, five different guys with five goals each. So they really spread it out and uh, are able to get different, a lot of different guys putting it away. Anderson, a big hit on Tyson right at the Elks blue line. Well, that's Elk River Hockey right there, playing the body. They're very physical, very, very physical. Holm, or Peterson rather, slowed as he enters the zone. Bresnahan gets it back out. Dump it in. Tell sends it deep. Novak there first, gets it to Bowden. Eli Bowden ducks the check, flipping it ahead for Barsness. It's behind him. Bowden able to poke it into the zone. Hansberger behind his own net, stays away from Bowden and will skate with it through center. Down the right wing, pressured by Bush. Bush will pinch him off along the end line. Mirrors back to the point for Tell. Across, it skips away from Katzian. He'll chip it back into the corner. Hansberger gloved it down, but taken away by Alfin. Golan tried to get it back to him. He was knocked off it. Golan is shot on net. And Greniak will hold for the faceoff. Well, that's good. Got to get those shots on that because Elk River with 12 now and the Cardinals with four. So Elk River's been putting the heat on. Oh, they have. Yeah, they've been coming out of their zone real easy. And that's something that Coon Rapp's going to have to figure out. Well, the Cardinals just need some presence down in the Elks end. That's all. Got to win puck battles. And you got to win puck battles, correct. Off the draw, Babcock able to get it out to center. Cardinals get it back in but can't control. Bordner keeps it in. This one chopped back to Babcock, a two on one. Babcock behind, and a huge, did he save that or did that hit the post? I think he saved it. Wow! That was a heck that of a should have been an, That Way should have go. been an absolute, Mears thought he scored. He had oh, he raised the his whole oh, yeah. goal. Yeah, way to go, Wagner. That's yep. why he's been uh, unbelievable. Here we go. I mean, this was just a bad change. Yeah. And you get the best player coming Got a in. Got glove on it. Got a glove wow. on it. Let's see a better view from up top. I mean, look. That's 24 feet. Oh, yeah, he, he got a glove. He definitely got a glove on it. 24 square feet. He thought he was sliding it easy into yep. a wide open net to start the scoring. I guarantee next time he puts a little more mustard yeah, on I yeah. would. I would think so. Gets another chance. He will not go for the easy slide in. Centering pass broken up. Good back check by Matt Stahlberger. That was good. Recovered by Sperling. Anderson shot blocked by Novak. Clark tried to play it around, hit the ref. The ref. Stopping up behind was Peterson, but he had a, or uh, is that Preston Holmes? It's Preston Holmes. Eight and nine, you know, tough to tell. Yeah, that's all right. Clark stays with it, takes some body contact out to the point. Bresnahan shot, save by Greniak, and it's over the glass, out of play. That's good, Keep, get the opportunity, shoot the puck. Got to shoot the puck, put it on the net. You say, look for those rebounds. Well, and the shots that Greniak has faced, especially the last couple from a long ways out, no traffic. he's been able to see him the whole yeah. way. But still, shoot them. Well, and the Cardinals started to put a little more pressure uh, on that. I mean, it was 11 to two shots for Elk River at one point. Bars this, trying to center, hit the back of the net, scooped up by Peterson. 
Dylan Peterson Both. dumps it right in. Wagner oh. dropped it and then falls on top of it for the whistle. It was a high fastball. Yeah, it was a high one, and he had a little trouble getting it in the glove, and it just bounced straight at his feet, and he didn't know it, but luckily he figured it out. Yeah, luckily there wasn't an Elk River player right there. Well, Jake Christian was about two steps too yep. slow. Too slow, but yeah. He had a lot of way to go. That's understandable when it's <laughs> when it's fired in on goal from yeah. almost the red line. Exactly. Yeah, good back pressure. Perhaps has to realize that Elk River comes hard on the back check. Oh, two on one. Christian will take the shot. Miss wide. It rings around. And Tyson with speed yeah. can't get around Tell. Mason Tell dumps it in. Knocked down by Novak. Played back to center. One touch back for Tyson. His shot right into the glove of Gavin Greniak. Greniak, pretty easy save for him. Just uh, glove that yep. one. Again, from 50 feet, no one in front of you. He'll nope. save those all day, yep. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he has to have to be concerned yeah. about giving up the rebound there yeah. in terms of. Now, Cooner have to watch out. They've had three odd man rushes against them in the last eight minutes here. And sooner or later, they're going to cash in on those. Got to make sure you've got that extra guy back. Alfin trying to control the draw. Instead, Pabcock able to send it all the way down. It turns into icing. We'll try again. Good. Five minutes left in this opening period, guys. No score yet. But yeah. uh, Elk River's had some chances. Yeah, I, I like how Coon Rapids have come back the last yes. three, four minutes. They, they did. For a while, they were looking like, oh, boy. But they've battled back here, and they've kept things going. It's still scoreless, so they're, they're doing a good job so far. Yep. And they're starting to get a little bit of pressure in on oh, Greniak. Played out front, poked away by Greniak. A lot of black jerseys in the house. Yeah. They protect in tight. Babcock sends it in. Wagner stops it up, leaves it there for Bresnahan. And his pass nearly oh. redirected. Right on a chance, another chance for Hansberger. Tell will keep it in at the line again. Mears tried to deflect, ended up wide. Played back into the slot. Hansberger back across. Alfin controls off the glass, out of the zone. And this one isn't going to have enough for icing. Cardinals able to get at least a partial line change. Right back on the attack. Hansberger into the middle. Poked away from Babcock. Right to Tyson. Tyson into the zone. Has friends. Alfin to the back door. Engberg denied in close. Right back the other way we go. Step up. Babcock. Had that one just out of reach. Tyson will send it in deep. Elks recollect out of the corner. Hansberger had it poked away by Tyson. Kotzian will send it ahead. It's deflected in on net. And we're going to have intentional offside. No, oh, how about that? Well, we talked about Greniak, pretty good goalie. I mean, you look yeah. at his numbers. Win, win loss just se at seven and seven, but his goals against under three. Nice that was pass. a beautiful play. Yeah. Bouncing a little bit, Nangberg in close. Like to see him stop up rather than skate past, yes. but yeah, always stop. But up. able to get in and, and at least try to jam oh. it home. Here's numbers again for the Elks. The shot by Sperling deflected away at the last second by Bush. Bush lost his stick at the same time, but definitely trade your stick to come up with uh, that block. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, Wagner is keeping him in the game because all of a sudden Elk River comes down and they, again, get an odd numbered situation. They have open guys in the wrong spots for the Cardinals, but Wagner was standing tall there, making a good save again. This one flipped in, didn't have a lot on it, and skipped past the glove of Wagner. Fortunately, the Cardinals able to clear the zone. The pass behind Tyson, though, and Cooper Anderson right there. Carry it back in. Leaves it off for Sperling. Sperling. Finley coming back up. Back across. On the Cooter Rapids. Holmes trying to work it along the boards, but eventually touched, and we'll have our first penalty Inter of the contest. Interference. It's been pretty clean up until now, as, as you talked about, with 3.07 left, just the first time a guy's in the box. And yeah. now an opportunity for yeah. Elk River with a 24.4% power play and Coon Rapids 79.6, so 80% on the PK. So we'll see how this plays out. And Rowan Bresnahan, uh, one of their top yeah. penalty killers, watching from the sin bit. Well, 3.07 to go in the first period. No score. 
Dogs have had some chances. Uh, one miraculous save and, oh, a, broken and a broken stick. stick so Rothbard. went off the outside of the net. Peterson recovers. Round up top, Cooper Anderson walking in. Engberg backing up, trying to block, went for the back door. Got to give that defender a stick. He's the guy, oh, there he's going for it fast. Better go. All right, switch guys. Walking in, Hansberger shoots wide. Mears recollects. Intercepted yeah. by Alfin and sent into the stands. That's all right. Oh, oh, pushing and shoving again. It's getting physical. Elk River does, loves to be physical. Yeah, they they want to intimidate you a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, it's that black jersey. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the, yeah. yeah. It's like the sheriff. It's like the, the bad guy <laughs> the with the black, the black the guy. Guy, the outfit. But you see a couple mustaches under those helmets, too? <laughs> Hansberger will face off against Alvin to the left of Will Wagner. Got to win the draw. Alvin able to do so, but Elk's first on the puck. They're quick. Get it back to the point. Anderson, his shot blocked by Engberg. Again, they're there able to go. recollect, and then that pass carries out of the zone, and Anderson will track back into his own end to re-get set. Yeah, good pressure for Engberg there. He got picked there. It should be a penalty. Pick. Shot through on net and sticked away out of play. Yeah, whenever you see someone get picked out in the neutral zone when they're moving that puck to a different spot, they don't want that guy to get there. If the pick interferes with the play, I'd like to see that called. You tell him, Jerry. I agree. But if it, in the ref's opinion and it was inadvertent contact, he stuck his rump out. <laughs> tell walking in through traffic, it hit a skate, Novak. Battles in the corner with Peterson. Back across it comes. Dylan Peterson circles towards the boards. Takes it deep. Leaves it down low and then gets it right back. We got another penalty coming up oh, for a high no. stick. And if you're Elk River, uh, give him the puck. Yeah. 25 well. seconds left on the power play. Walking in, Mears shoots wide. Now, of course, Elk River pulled their goaltender. Yeah, that's right. You get to do that. Hops over the stick of Peterson. It's six on four. Shot through traffic. The save. And here comes the penalty. So only eight seconds to play five on three. Well, when you're chasing the puck, that's what happens. Sooner or later, you're going to get a penalty when you're in your own end running around trying to keep up with the thing. And it's a high stick. And Too it's bad. another defender. Ugh. Yeah, not, not what you need when you're killing penalties. You're... Two of your good penalty killing defenders. So a short five on three and gotta win the draw. Nope. Back to Mears. Played across the shot by Anderson. Blocker save by Wagner. Mears again up top to the back door. It's five on four. Alfred gets it to Bresnahan. It's rolling and just out of his reach. Trying to get it back to Alfin out front. Too bad. That was a chance. Hansberger up the near side, leaves it for Anderson. He gets into the zone. Mears, pressured by Engberg, goes down but gets it back. Blocked by Engberg, and this one chipped ahead for Alfin. Here's Engberg, little too far away, and Greniak sweeps it into the corner. Engberg takes a hit from Anderson, but keeps on pressuring the puck as Brandon Hansberger comes to center. Mears gets past Presnahan, the dump in, and the clear attempt taken right back by Gavin Sperling. Sperling to Ansberger. Anderson pokes it back to him. Across. Mears has time. His shot saved by the shoulder of Will Wagner. Yeah, good reaction by Wagner. In close, a pad save. Centering attempt. Three seconds and two. The shot. That's up over the net. And we will make it to the buzzer. No score. Elk River putting on tons of pressure. Tons of pressure. 20 shots on goal in wow. that first period. Well, and they're going to have uh, another 46 seconds of yeah. power play to start the second. Down on the bench with our Howie Shapiro is Coon Rapids head coach, Aaron Frock. Howie? Thanks, guys. I'm here with uh, Coach Frock. Coach, uh, uh, no score here. 
you know, Elk River, I thought, started off really strong. You guys did, you know, came back a little bit, but what do you what do you do to figure this out? Well, we're getting outplayed right now, I think, at every phase of the game. Our goalie's keeping us in this game. Will's played fantastic. He's had some big saves. We've taken a couple of lazy penalties as well that we got to kill off now. Uh, we got to get back stretching the ice out. Again, they're really comfortable when we're working down low. We got to start opening the ice up a little bit more. That should give us a little bit more space. Yeah, they had a few odd man rushes in that period that kind of hurt you a little bit. Unfortunately, no goal scored. Uh, you got to feel pretty good the fact that, uh, that it's 0 0 at this point. Absolutely. I mean, 0 0 is probably the best best situation we've been in right now. Um, when we get back out, we're going to have to get more shots in the front of the net. And we got to get bodies to the front because this kid, I mean, he's going to stop a direct shot. We got to get on him and make him uncomfortable. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second. We're going to be back to break down first period action right after this. Thanks, Aaron. Okay, I have a couple good ones for you, Joe. How do football players stay cool? By standing next to the fans. Ha, uh, well. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? I don't. Penalty. Why can't you play football with I, pigs? I think his assessment was fair. Because yeah, they hog the, the ball. Game. Yeah, they, uh, were, they were last the puck for a while. Well, I, really, it, only two or three games. <laughs> We can look at our notes. Back at the crick and getting ready for period number two. No score, but it was not for lack of effort from the visitors. The Elk River Elks controlled much of that first period and got themselves a lot of good looks. Will Wagner making 20 saves in the first period. Elk River is going to have 46 seconds of power play to start the second period. Yeah, As we talked about one. a couple of odd man rushes and just waiting for the one just unbelievable save. That's probably the best Cardinal chance of that yeah. period yeah. right there. And how did the unbelievable save not make the highlights? The highlight. I'm not sure. It'll be in the game highlights. But the numbers are, are certainly heavily in favor yeah, of Elk River. They are. And when you look at the shots, 20, I have Elk River for eight quality scoring chances in the in the house Holly. Oh. so got to do a little better job of tightening it up coon raps only had three quality shots down in the house area so elk river doing exactly what you said they do play good defense right and cardinals doing exactly what you said they had to work more on their defensive zone and, and they did and they do and yeah. you know as coach Fox said this is one of his keys was will's going to have to keep us in this game and he has yeah. so far through period number one but as he admitted we've been outplayed in that first period and they have to step it up here starting in well period they need two. to get back to playing how they want to play yep. as we talked about it the, the spurts where they were playing better is when they were on their game keeping the pace up and just getting into the zone yeah um Winning puck battles. Yep. I mean, you talk about it any game, but uh, it's absolutely crucial. Uh, puck possession is going to be huge for the next yes. 34 yes. minutes. Yeah, you got to use that speed. You have speed, so you have to get those pucks in and get after them. And they can do that. They've shown they can. Just have to kind of do it a little bit more consistently. But first, you have to get through this 46 seconds of penalty kill time. See if they drew up anything in the locker room, Elk River. To, to, Try to get a better quality chance on that power play. Alpin ties up off the draw. Bush fires it into the corner. Good. Cooper Anderson will recover it, and he will start up ice. Lost the handle a little bit. Gets it ahead to Mears. Tried to leave it. One touch. Sperling sends it into the far corner. Bresnahan to the line, but not out. The shot hit traffic out front. Alpin fires it all the way down. That's good position there by Elfin. Right in the right yep. spot and, and zip it down. Yep, get it out of your end. Down to the final 12 seconds of this power play. Cooper Anderson through center for Elk River. Down the left wing. Will take the shot. Pad save. Rebound pushed to the corner. 
Sperling recovers there, out to the point. Hansberger walking in, goes back door. Mears tried to come back across uh. the seam. Cardinals back to full strength. Stahlberger, with a little bit of room, takes the shot, the save, and the cover for Gavin Greniak. Well, once again, that's twice in this game that Coon Rapids had a good opportunity in the transition to get that puck ahead to a guy who had a total breakaway, just couldn't quite get it under control, but Stahlberger eventually gets it, gets cut off there by... And Alvin uh, took a little offense at the... Uh, looked like a, a bit of a trip yeah, to me. it was a trip, yeah. Yep, you're never going to get called for no. that, ever. Ever? All, he, all, all Cooper Anderson did was hold his ground in front of his netminder. Yeah. Put his stick down, and he just happened to hit it. Body, there you go. Solid stand up at the red line by Nolan Hazelwood, but the play continues deep. Jake Christian chasing. Hazelwood will recover the loose puck out of the corner. Rising sweeps it along at his own blue line. Kotze in across for Mason Tell. Gets to the red line and flips it in deep. Hazelwood there first, but oh. two Elk River players. A turnover, a shot, a save. Hazelwood slow to get up. Bresnahan yeah, get trying up. to use his body as he battles for it with Dylan Peterson in the corner. Comes to the point. Cardinals challenge. Can't get it out. Hazelwood finally ahead. Clark will force his way into the zone. Cardinals trying to complete their line change. Yeah, it's too bad Hazelwood couldn't get out. Yeah, he yeah. needs to get a break. He will be get the him, one to get, get him, back get him, to it him. deep in his yeah. own end. Long pass ahead. Bowden at center. Dumps it in, didn't get it deep. Elks get it right back out. Uh, Bowden fans on it, Mears gets it into the zone. Hansberger supports his shot save, Wagner into the far corner. Babcock back to the point, a quick shot turned away by Wagner. Hazelwood behind for Bresnahan. Oh, there's that sticky ice. Hazelwood still out there. Period of the long change, yeah. and Elk River dumps it back in. Yeah. Hazelwood will give it to Alfin, who skates with it. Ahead, deflected in by Tyson, and Hazelwood and Bresnahan yeah. finally Two they, shift. get to the bench. Yeah, that's a, that's a long shift for those guys. They, they needed to get to the bench. Centering attempt, broke it up. Hansberger back the other way. Near side for Mears, looking for Hansberger again. It was behind him. Golan spin pass, didn't hit anyone. Bowden. Gets it to Alfin, gloves it down, and chases it into the corner. He slips past the check of Hayden Jasper. Centering in the skates of Bush. Too couldn't bad. control. Back the other way comes Cole Mears. He'll send it in deep, and that's going to be icing as he sent it a couple steps before he got to the blue uh, red line. Yeah, I like seeing Novak there put a little bit of a body on Mears to let him know he can't just skate around with no one touching him all night. Yeah, then Mears is going to give him a little shot after that as yeah, well. Of course he will, because, yep. you know, he didn't like getting hit. No, he, of course I. Well, I, it, I wouldn't like getting and hit. It, and it forced him to ice the yeah, puck as right. well. Exactly. He got happy feet. Bush will send this down and around. It's out of the reach of Barsness. Golan can't control oh. along Ooh. the boards. <laughs> we Could have called one. I thought we were going to get one called, too. Yeah, Kreitch hit the boards. Or hit the ice, I should say. Engberg chips it up and out over the head of Joey Kotzian. Anderson will get there and get it back out to center. Deflected back into the Coon Rapids hit. Novak there in front of Sperling. Plays it off the boards, out to Golan. And Anderson sends it right back in. Tandon Bush chased by Preston Holmes. Well, nice Cops up the puck. Here's a chance, and that's deflected up and out of play. Mm -hmm. Tristan Creech walking in from that dot. What a good stick. Yeah, good good support on the puck. Guy just nice to diagonal, about seven feet away. Sam just put it right on his stick. Walked in. That's smart hockey. And not a lot of offense uh, in this game, but not much uh, not much in terms of shots on goal here so far in the second period. Yeah, so far, better job by Coon Rapids. Yeah. There's an opportunity, and firing Ooh. wide is Jake Christian. Out at the point, Tell able to hold it in. Bresnahan behind his own net. His pass deflected, now gets it ahead. Rising couldn't control, able to regather, and that's going to be icing. <coughs> Yeah, you got to watch those little uh, plays in the neutral zone. 
Got to find a way to get that puck in their end without icing it. Yeah, exactly. Elk River's been pretty good on draws today as well. But so far, a better start to the period here. Well, that's what, the Car that's what the Cardinals needed because yeah. they didn't have a good start in that first period. And again, they're fortunate that the score is still zero. Zero, zero. Right Shot deflected up and over the net. Recovered near corner by Jake Christian. Sent to the line. Barsness, Jackson Barsness, that is, able to force it out to center. And that causes the play to go offside. Yeah, and Bushy puts a little hit there and gets a nice little bit of snow on the Elk River player there as he has to dust himself off. Peterson. Oh. Tie up off the face off. Puck played far side. Tyson trying to side check. Sidestep a check. Mears plays it back in deep. Alfin there. Behind, here's Tyson. Cross ice pass looking for Barsness, and it was cut off. Bush steps up, breaks up that pass. Alfin pushes it into the zone, gets to the puck. Quick shot oh. and a quicker glove for Gavin Greniak. Oh, Grediak did a really nice job of just sticking that club out and catching that puck because that was a nice opportunity for yeah, Elfin. That one was heading to the corner. Elfin yes, it had was. A nice shot, and yeah, he was out on top of the crease and he reacted well. See, there's that good, good battle to get to that loose yep. puck by Elfin. And he's a nice a, shot. He's a good athlete. He's yep. had a solid season right now, fourth on the team in scoring, ten yep. goals, fourteen assists, and that's the effort we like to see. And he also made uh, ESPN's top 10. Well, hello. For a baseball highlight. That's great. As a little yep. leaguer. The hook. As a little leaguer, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. At the Little League World yep. Series. Deflected in by Hansberger. He gives chase. Bresnahan thought it was coming a little quicker. Hansberger yeah. has position. He now swings it around at the near point. Held there by Jasper, but forced out by Engberg. Oh, and Engberg's going to yeah. end up with the penalty here as they both went down. And Mears will regroup behind the net, yeah. allow his netminder an opportunity to get to the bench, and they will come up ice with a full six on five. Cole Mears, leading goal scorer, leading point scorer for Elk River. Nice game, just little passes. Yep. Nice. Oh, oh Mears in a goal. Well, Joe, you talked about the Mears. The next time he has an opportunity, he got it there, and that uh, he puts it in and makes it count. Well, that all started. They had four, four guys bunched up yep. just inside the blue line. They made two nice little passes, three, four foot passes to get that Cardinal defense to kind of move around, and they sprung the one guy down low, bing, and they just got him a nice pass down low, and, and Mears. Tuck it in. And it's your three your three captains and three leading scorers. Cole Mears finishing it off short side. Goal 13 for Mears on the season. But yeah, that was, I mean, just the, you talked about it, Jerry, the passing, just a little yeah. bit, the, yeah. and giving them an opportunity to set up that play. Yeah, so well, passing that puck is what sets things up. They're a good passing team. They do a nice job of moving the puck around. Well, just the Cardinals need to pass. come out here and, and put the pressure on Elk River. Yep. They they have to up their game. Yeah. Uh, if they sit back and allow Elk River to build momentum off of yeah. that goal, they are in for yeah. what could be a long night. Well, they had a good good start to the period, first six minutes. They are really playing a nice game. They are getting after pucks. They say we had Elf and right there could have had a goal, and then unfortunately they get the penalty in the neutral zone. Well, and it was a, it was a a hustle penalty, really. I mean, yeah. it was Jack Engberg forcing the puck out of uh, out of the zone and and battling for it, he lost his edge, and then unfortunately for he and the Cardinals, he tripped up Aiden Jasper through the effort. Centering pass is out of the reach of Creech. Out to the point. Shot by Kotzian into the midsection of Wagner, and he'll hold for the faceoff. 
And I tell you, what, what impressed me about Elk River Holly is their skill level. Yep. They make passes to, to space, and the guy will get his stick out, and it'll go right on the stick because they just move the puck at different paces. Right. You don't always have to whip it hard. You want to move the puck fast. Oh, you want to move it around. But sometimes you want to lay it into an area yep. so a guy can get that, and they're doing Which, that very well. Yeah, they, very well. They, they're, I'm, I'm impressed with what they've been doing here so far tonight. Being the great hockey mind that I am. Yeah, well, you are. You've come a long <laughs> way, my friend. Bowden uh, at center flips it in. Yeah. And uh, Coach Frock has shuffled up the lines a bit here in the second period as the yes. dump in ended up out of play. Yeah, that's true. And I see Tyler Barsness up standing on the boards. I've not. I don't know that we've seen him much in this second period. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't say that I've seen him out there as well. I don't know what's... Yeah. If he's nicked up a little bit, if coach is trying to send a message. Well, that may be, but they certainly need him. They could use him. Yep. He is uh, definitely a catalyst. All in, you know, when you're Facing a team like Elk River, you need all your speed guys, and he's definitely a speed yeah, guy. Yeah, for sure. This one deflected through center. Coming on to it is Peterson out front. No, don't and a little get, scuffle, yeah, little scuffle in the corner, but a big no, save yeah. for Will Wagner. Yep. Once again, you see that pass, Ollie? Yep. He just flipped that puck to space, got his stick out just to tip it in ahead so yep. he could get onto the puck. Say, just, it's fun to watch that kind of passing. Yeah, Wagner. Again. That's how you were back in the day. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? <laughs> oh, we are going to see a penalty out oh. of the little uh, scuffle in the corner, and Coon Rapids is going to end up with a power play. Oh, well, well, good job. I'm glad that. I can't remember who it was for the Cardinals in the corner, but there was, was, kinda, there was no Novak, back, I thought, yep. and he did not engage. He just kind of stood there yep. and hey, tried to get away, and Peterson just kept pushing away at him. So good. Cardinals trying to get a power play. First one, right, Joe? Correct. Oh, Barsness now took that, that center. Bresnahan leaves it for Barsness into the middle of a shot and right into the midsection of Grenier. That's okay. Good pass. Got it to the bumper. Nice shot. Oh, There's an opportunity to see if they can get back into this game here. Just down one nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You get the power play That's opportunity right. and get some opportunity to get your offense yeah, going. And they're only getting outshot five to four so far this period. Yeah. So, whoop, and there goes the draw and down it goes. Yeah, Elks wake waste no time sending that one the length. Here's Tyler Barsness into the zone. A couple of Cardinals hit each other and Barsness buries it. Top shelf. My concentration was yeah. lost because well, I saw yeah. two Cardinals <laughs> run into each other at the blue guy. line and took an Elk River player with them. And Barz has absolutely buried that shot. Yeah, We're tied it, at one. It might have distracted the Elk River defense and goaltender, too, when you have that kind of See, the collision on. happens just to the left there. Uh, far side. Boy, that was a pretty goal. That yeah, was very nice. That was goal 17 for Barzness. Yep, that's what's in the 35 points. Yep. It's a lot of points. Yeah, yeah. the Cardinals needed yeah, that. They do. They needed, they needed a little something to get them, uh, get them going. And now uh, they do. Yep. Shots are 5-5. Five, five. Yep. So they're playing a much better period. They've got to keep it up now. Well, and he, Howie had mentioned yeah. that uh, Elk River's coaching staff talked about having to stay out of the bench. And there you see it cost them their first trip. Oh, rebound oh, chance oh. fired wide by Preston Holmes. Gotta win that battle right there, but didn't win but it. But both teams need to stay out of the box. Centering attempt by Sperling is cut off. Well, Cardinals get it to center, but now a three on one. The return pass broken up by Novak. And Coon Rapids able to get it out to center. This one gloved down by Tandon Bush ahead for Engberg, poked off his stick. Sent back out to center by Katsian. Novak tangles up with Sperling along the near boards mm -hmm. as Anderson brings back through center for Elk River. Getting physical. His shot is blocked, a chance off the rebound and off the end board. And now Anderson and Novak, and Novak's going to get a penalty behind the play that is just undisciplined and, and 
That, the Cardinals could he, not afford it. He got nope. yep. Unless he's able to get Anderson into the box yeah. with him. And I think that's I based think that's on what's happen. that face. Yeah. Gordon. He's going as well. A little gored him into that, just kind of hanging in there. And then you're taking a guy off, as Howie talked about at the beginning of the game. This oh, is a guy that good. plays every other shift for yeah. Elk River on their back end. Oh, good. That's good that they took him as well. That, that helps. Yeah, the, the Cardinals uh, couldn't afford to go uh, uh, no. on the penalty kill again. And Look at that. And there it is. So, no I mean, back going into the backboard. Yeah, and Yeah, they're both. They're pushing and shoving. Pushing and shoving, yep. and then the trip. And I thought that's all and that we were going to get. He tripped him again. Yeah. And then here comes the goalie. Wagner trying to just say, knock it off. Trying then, to be the uh, peacemaker. Yeah. And then Cooper got one more shot in. The rest said, okay, we'll take you too. And we will play on five on five with the offsetting penalties to Novak and Anderson. And that will be offside on the Cardinals. Elk River holding a two to one advantage in shots on goal, but on the scoreboard, it's one all. Each team with a power play goal in this second period, seven and a half minutes to go. Babcock trying to dance his way past the Cardinal defense, lost the handle, tracked it down, but Coon Rapids able to win it back. Tyson to the blue line, trying to get around the corner. Short angle shot, pad, uh, paddled away by Greniak. Barsness looking for a call as he was dragged down behind the net. Won't get it. Deflection at center by Mears. Sends Hansberger in. Leaves it for Mears. He lost the handle. Hazelwood comes up with it for the Cardinal. To center. Barsness leaves it for Tyson. Great toe drag. Looking out front. Couldn't quite get there to the line. Bush's shot deflected. Ends up going over the net. Out front. Barsness. Tyson scores. It. Well, that's how you do it. That's what we were hoping they would start doing. The Cardinals are now attacking the net. They're putting pucks down. They're battling hard. Barson's behind the net. Wouldn't give up on that puck. Got it back out front. And Tyson with the goal. Actually flying through the air pretty much. How he Ty looks like a Tyson's Superman. Been, Bing. He's been playing well, too. He basically got the goal from the yeah. one where he tried it earlier. They wanted a high stick there, but look at that. Mm. Yeah, it's it's tough for for the goaltender just to really keep up. There's so much going on in front of you, and then and then just a, a pretty goal for the yeah, Cardinals it was to never take the lead. Never with touched. That, never touched. touched. Yeah. The referee was right there, and he yep. waved it off. As far as that being, uh, they're talking about it on the bench. But there's no replay here. But yep. you're going to ask about it. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come over and ask you that. Did you see a high stick? Yeah. And he's going to say, well, no, I was down there. I waved it yeah, off. He, yeah, yeah. But he, he you have to make the argument if right. you're on the Elk yeah. River bench, you've right. got to try. Right. Well, and the fact that you're getting him to talk about it is, yeah, it's is somewhat than, of a win enough. from a coaching yeah. perspective. Yeah. At this point, they can't wave that off because there's no way in no. there. Just have to give him a quick explanation, and then that's well, it. Well, clearly not the the explanation he wanted, he but uh, goal. too late to call a high stick. Yeah, you can't yeah. call a high stick at this point. In the NHL or college, you can review that, and right. then they might make that call. But big goal for Coon Rapids. That yep. was big, huge. Elks win the draw. Christian back on the attack, sent it just wide. Golan gets it back out to center. And here's a steal for Alfin around the defense. Who's back in? Huge save by wow. Greniak. And then Alfin blown up in the corner. Played back out front. Greniak sweeps at it. Recovered by Christian. He gets it ahead. Out to center. Battle for it. Golan sends it back in. Bullet. Bowden. Gets it to the blue line, but bouncing puck recovered by Jake Christian. Lost an edge a little bit, lost his balance. Bowden able to recover three on one, three on two at the line. Cuts across, shot block, back door and a goal. Caden Elfin makes it three one. Coon Rapids. 
Boy, I'll tell you, you know, for as poorly as the, the Cardinals played in that first period, that's how well they're playing here yeah. in, the, in the second. All of a yeah. sudden, just swarming the net, getting the opportunities. Well, Saw that open net. Yeah. Well, they're winning battles. Yep. They're winning battles. In the neutral zone, they want to battle there. Able to get the puck down low, outnumbered them. The puck luckily bounces to the right guy. You see a three on two coming in. And then there's battles, rebounds, well, and bing. beautiful one touch pass yeah. back yeah. across by by Bresnahan, and uh, no chance for Grenier yeah. on no. that one. Very nice. Yeah, wide open net. All right, now they just have to keep it up because Elk River's going to come hard. Oh, yeah, and it's going to continue to be physical. I can tell you that. Hazelwood from behind his own net, rising one touch across Stahlberger. Skates a stick into the zone, leaves it for Andrew Clark. He lost the handle as he stopped up. Stays with it. Get up there. Poke to the line, but Hazelwood will hold. Yeah. Right. Like there might have been a call there for a second, but then yeah, I thought yeah. about it. There's a little push from behind, but they've let they've let a lot go today. And if the players are playing within the, the boundary of the rules, they're playing hard. They're not playing cheap. Right. So, no. You know, it's part of it's the a, they're game. playing physically. Yes, yeah, physical yep. game. Yep. Barsness wins the face up, but can't get enough on it to get it to the blue line. Babcock will skate the other way, cut across the top of the zone, snaps a shot. Glove save for Will Wagner. Yeah, good job by Wagner tracking that puck as Babcock cut across the slot area and waited for a screen and got a shot off. Oh, mm -hmm. Wagner's feeling it a little bit, and you want, obviously, this is a good opportunity. Face off win, mere shot deflected wide. Sorry, you can continue. I, there was just a oh, quick okay. chance no, at the that's net okay. there. I, just, I was going to say it's a good opportunity for you know for Wagner to continue what he's doing here. Now all of a sudden he's got a three-one lead, and you know and playing well, making some big saves, and I'm sure I'm sure this Elk River team's frustrated at this point. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah they, they had a one-zero lead, uh, and things were really going their way. They played a somewhat dominant first period, and uh, they're being outshot nine-seven right now. Coon Rapids has woken up. Uh oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wow, wow, Anderson another, hammered that one timer fastball. and uh, that was just an absolute theft what it from is. Will Wagner. Yeah. Yeah. Will, Will Wagner's on his game tonight. He wow. really is. He's playing great. But you got to win that draw and you got to get somebody out there to challenge that shooter. Yep. Yeah, he. Yep. Yeah. That was a, a well-designed face-off play off a win and yeah, it led to a, a good player taking a heavy shot. Oh, oh no. Babcock's shot sticked away by Wagner. Yeah, again. Turnover. Here's Hansberger, top of the slot, poked away by Bush. Golan gets it ahead for Bowden. Bowden at center into the zone, trying to get it back to Bush. Bush trying to center. Loose puck, poked at, still loose. Ends up behind, and Hansberger sweeps it along for Mears at center ice. Alfred. Back across the grain, sidesteps a check, but loses the puck. Anderson has it back and into the zone for Elk River. Floats it across, Mears to Hansberger, back to Mears in the corner. Tried to center, broken up by Novak. Bush gets it to Engberg, ahead for Golan. Tristan Golan, one on two, is shot blocked by Tell and recovered by Katsian, who to take his time and now go indirect off the far boards. That's chopped away by Brez, uh, Bresna, Bresnahan. I'll get one of their names right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good half. I got halfway through it. I was right the whole time. I got halfway through it. Wait, wait, that's the wrong way. Wait, that, wait, that. wait, no, that's it. That, no, that is Bresnahan. Okay. Brez, Brez, Bars, Bars, yeah. Brez, Bars, 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 Fun with names. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Big steal for Golan in deep. Tried to center it, deflected in on goal instead. Tyson will send it back in just out of the reach of Barsness. Uh, then the player just helped the referee call a penalty on that one. That one's yeah. a little bit yeah. of a. Barsness, it, it was a. 
Yeah, they've, it they've, was they've, there. They've been letting that stuff go most they of the have, game. Yeah, but, oh well. not that time. Well, well, that's why when you go over to the bench and the coaches talk to you for about a minute, they're planting seeds in your head. Yeah. And there's the seed that got planted, the next penalty. Now this this is an opportunity now for Elk River uh, yeah. on the power play yeah. to see if they can uh, they can cut this yeah. lead to a goal. And, and you don't want offensive zone penalties. So no. Those are ones you try to avoid in the game, but they happen, unfortunately. But penalty, penalty kill's been good. Elk River one for three on the power play. Lit the lamp quickly on their last yeah, opportunity that, uh, early in this period. Delayed penalty. That one fired and blocked. That could stick. Keep those sticks on the ice. Cool. Shot missed that wide. Nice. Engberg flips it towards the net. Takes a big hit from Anderson. Oh, yeah. Wanted to make sure he laid the lumber on him over there. Well, and Anderson did a nice job because he got a piece of that puck as well. Yeah. Before that shot. Well, that's shot. right. It wasn't a power play goal. It was a six on yeah, five six on goal. Five. Pulled yep. the goalie on the delay. All right, that's it. Take 30 seconds yeah. off that and keep keep working 30 seconds. Try to get whistles. Try to get it up, keep it out of your zone. Anderson with room will take it. Through center, there you go. pressured at the line, dumps it in. Bresnahan, first one there, right and down. right back down it goes, the 200 middle. feet. I'm glad he looked up because the middle <laughs> most of the time is open, yep. if you can see it. Sort of jamming up the wall where the players already are waiting. Hansberger into the zone. We'll take the short angle shot and miss high and wide. It'll carry out to center, and Cooper Anderson at the red there line, pressured the by Alphen. Puck side. Tied up, puck comes free, and here's Engberg. Out front, and shot to goal! Nolan Hazelwood, short-handed, makes it 4-1. to one. That's, a big, that's a big goal. That's a River, huge goal. Elk River had the power play going the way they wanted. They were getting opportunities, but they got careless. They got stuck on the wrong side of the puck there. Too many guys up forward, not enough back. And created a little odd situation in the neutral zone. Won the battle, turned into a good chance. Yeah. Well, and, and I don't know if Caden Alfin gets an assist for this, but he yeah, should, he should, as he, he should. was the one that tied up yeah. Anderson at center. And, and then you would think in a power play yeah. situation, yeah. the support would come from yeah. the power play right. team. Yeah. Instead, the support came from the yeah. shorthanded yeah. guys. <laughs> They're off well, to the races. It, it and paid off. Hazelwood buries his chance. Yeah. And now they just have to get the last 39 I seconds. I think that's his, first, that's his first goal of the season. There you go. Joey Katzian slow to get up after taking a big hit. Well, you know, when you uh, want to play the body, it goes both ways. So uh, the Raptors are going to play the body as well tonight. Blocker save. Yeah, the coaches to our left felt that was an illegal blow. It looked pretty good, but no call. And. It does, I will say, just about any level of hockey. It takes a very egregious penalty yeah. to, to make you go down three. five on three. Yeah. Yeah. I love that play. I think it was Zach Novak in front, clearing the man out of the yeah. way, just allowing his goalie yeah. the opportunity to see that puck from yeah. the time it left the stick. Yeah. Will saw it, and if he sees the puck tonight, he's been very good. Yeah, hopefully Katzian's okay. Yeah, you can we see. don't want to see anybody get hurt. Uh, he's Jeremy Shepard with the trainer, right? Over there uh, having a look and yeah. talk to him. And that he was definitely it. wobbly getting up. This yeah. one thrown all the way down just as the penalty ended. Barsness with it in the corner. Brian is center. All black jerseys there, though. Mears there you go. Back chips pressure. it ahead. Good. There you go. Bowden takes it from Babcock. Tried to get it back to Barsness. Instead, Mears will take this shot. Blocker saved by Wagner. Barsness and Mears in the corner. Barsness will oh. send it across. Glove down by Anderson. Nice job, man. Try to center on the backhand, but Wagner deflects it up and out of play. Yeah, you got less than a minute left in the period, and you're going to make that diagonal pass, even though it's in the air from the corner. We've talked about that many times, Joe. you got to make the safe play. Get the puck out. Try to have short support. Make one, two passes. Then you get that guy to spring through there. But that's a dangerous pass for somebody like Cooper Anderson out there. He's uh, very good. He grabbed that out of the air. 
Barsness sent out of the circle. Engberg will take the draw instead. Get up there. Face off win. Mears shot is blocked. Kept in at the line by Jasper. Hazelwood able to flip it back out of the zone. Mears at his own blue line. Across for Trooper Anderson. Trying to dance past Bresahan. He's bumped to the ice. Good check. Careful there. That pass in the skates. Got to get it out. Of Engberg. Engberg. Engberg able to get it to center. Mears leaves it back. Hansberger. There you go. Can't get through. Engberg. Down the wing, left it for Bowden, just out of his reach. Babcock, long pass, uh -oh. looking for Mears. Here's Mears in, last second, trying to go across. Buzzer sounds just before that puck went in the net. The pass, Mears tried to pass it across. It got oh, blocked back to him. Wow. As he went to put it into a wide open net, that wow. buzzer sounded. And the Cardinals got sloppy, just got, got away with it. Very, very lucky. Very lucky. And after they a... will oh, get to the locker room still up four to one. It could not have been uh, any closer than that. And uh, a very different, very different second play. period yeah. after that scoreless first. We saw a handful uh, more penalties. Yeah. Um, Here's another look at it. Unfortunately, we don't have the clock on uh, the camera. Good sliding block initially, but uh, and it, but it went right back to him. Yep. And unfortunately yep. for Elk River, the buzzer sounded yep. just before. Just before. It that was went, really close. Uh, into the net. And so uh, well, Coon Rapids is going to hold on to that 4-1 lead. Howie Shapiro is down on the bench uh, with Elks head coach, Ben Gustafson. Howie? Thanks, guys. I'm here with uh, Coach Gustafson. Yeah, a good first period for you guys. No score, obviously. You all, you all played the Cardinals. And then the second period, I thought Good Rapids obviously did a really nice job. Some of the things we talked about is like staying out of the box and then keeping them in front of the net. Tough period for you guys. Yeah, you know, I you know, Coon Rapids was very op opportunistic there in the second period. Um, their goaltender's playing great, um, so hats off to him. We got to find a way to get get some, you know, four of them past them here. So we've got some work to do. Um, you know, I, I loved our first period, like you said, had a lot of really good chances. Uh, didn't score because of that. Coon Rapids was able to, you know, stay in the game, and um, obviously they scored on on their chances in the second. So, still got uh, 17 minutes. Um, you know, I know our kids will come out and and work hard, and 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 we'll see what happens. Down by three. What's your biggest message to the guys between the period? Well, you know, obviously we've got to uh, we've got to score some goals here, so we're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, you know, in the offensive zone with our defensemen and uh, got to get some traffic. Obviously, their goalie is seeing the puck really well tonight, so um, we got we to make it hard on them out there. So, yeah. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the third. We'll take a quick break and be back to break it all down right after this. There was once a time when local sports coverage wasn't what it is now. A dark age filled with handicaps and Polaroids and angry crowds. Then two noble souls stood and proclaimed aloud that they'd give the people high quality sports no matter how. So sports nights they became, delivering stats and highlights was their vow. And sports nights they remain. Watch them weekly on CTN Now. She, she, she was, was very spoiled. proper. She and was spoiled growing up. Four brothers and her. Back at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. What a period we had in the second. After a scoreless first, Elk River takes advantage of the extra player and a delayed penalty. And Cole Mears goes top shelf. But Barsness answers back with a power play goal midway through the period to make it 1-1. And then the Cardinals get two goals less than a minute apart. This one off a weird play, smart play by Barsness to get it out front. Tyson hammers it home one time. 
And then Bolden shot block. Bresnahan back across the green. Alf in a wide open net. And then the shorthanded tally off a tie up at center. Engberg kicks it free off to the races, finds Hazelwood alone. Elks defense can't catch up. Yeah, and they Hazelwood. find themselves behind 4-1, and they did put it into a, an open net yep. just a fraction of a second yeah, after the buzzer big. sounded, yeah. or else it would be 4-2. But well, you look at those shots and go, Elk River with a, a yeah, commanding healthy. lead. However, healthy. it was only 12-10 Elk River right. shots in that period. And Coon Rapids had nine shots in the house, and all four of their goals were in between the dots, below the dots. And exactly what Coach Rock talked about. That yeah. Rock talked about what are the things that they need to do to win this game, and, and that's why they're up 4-1. One of the reasons. Alfin intercepts the pass, brings it back into the zone, sends it in deep. Babcock will send it across. Mears leaves it for Hansberger. He gets into the zone, slowed by Alfin. Hansberger gets it back. Anderson had to get off his stick. Bowden played it to the point. Shot by Jasper, deflected up over the net. Mears a blast. That's blocked. Mears gets it back in the corner. Carries behind, pressured there by Tandon Bush. Bush pokes it away, but Anderson controlled. Hansberger walking in, fires wide. Good ref just needs to settle down, get the puck out of that zone. Stay with your structure. Anderson you shot into the glove of Will Wagner. Yeah. Or and a good start to the period for yeah, Elk River. Really you heard uh, Coach Gustafson talk about the need to be, the urgency they need to have here yes, in this absolutely. third period. They need to get three past a goalie that's seeing it pretty well. They've already put three shots on goal yeah. in the first yeah, 51 seconds. Yeah. There you go. Just need to. Well, it started out how they did in the first period, similar similar fashion where they controlled it. Yep, yeah, Kudrenov, that's has to match that intensity now. They got to keep working hard. Joey Kotzian back out there. That's good news go. for the Elk River Elks. He was the one that. A little shaken up and checked on by trainer Jeremy Shepard. Just mishandles the puck. Oh. Parson has tried to bury it on the backhand, but too bad. Greniak stayed strong on the post. Bresnahan across for Hazelwood. Good. Puck's in. That pass out of the reach of Creech. Oh. Almost play it back in. Tell carries it out, dumps it in. Bush chops at it. He's pressured in the corner by Babcock. Well, the late guy watching. Centering pass. Mears leaves it for Anderson, looking to get it back to Mears. He'll collect off the board. Backdoor feed. Diving at it. Oh, 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 was did Wagner, get a piece Wagner. Of that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wow. Well, couldn't have to step it up because that first line for Elk River is coming out every other shift now. Well, they have to. I mean, they're their scorers. They they need to because they're down by three. But Bowden tips it in. Anderson will get there first. Well, Quinn Rapids is going to have to play with the same intensity they did in period yeah, number do. two. I mean, they, they can't rest on it, even though they're up by three. It's a pretty good Elk River team. What is? Yeah, and this is above their average. Again, as we talked about at the very start, they don't score as much, oh, uh, but they play much stronger defensively. But here's a two-on-one. Mears down the left side, tried to center. That was broken up by Bush. And really, Babcock was well tied up out front anyhow. Andrew Clark weaving his way One through three, center. Puck deep. There you go. Flips the check, but knocked off his feet. Support comes yeah, from Rising. Yeah, good, get back. Three guys back. Triangulation. Tell will dump it right in on goal, and oh, a little snow in the face. Oh, well, we usually get you a little talking too, and yeah. there was a little talking, and Tell put Hazelwood on his backside. Yeah, trying to get in the goalie's head. You're gonna go spray some snow on him because he's playing so well. That yeah. save he made here. A couple minutes ago. Oh, yeah, it was, was phenomenal. Stick when he just butterfly it around. Sometimes you're on, he's on, so the team just has to keep fighting for him. I mean, I would have been shocked in this game if it happened, but I have seen referees call interference for that. Elk yeah. River touched it on its way out of the zone, so no icing. Stahlberger couldn't win the battle yeah. in the corner. Back the other way, Easton Johnson will flip it on goal. Stick save up and out of play. Yep, good. Yep, take whistles, take breaks, get line changes, keep people fresh. 
Just keep working that clock, get under 10 minutes. Well, and, and again, the Elk River coming out, and they're, they're flying here in this well, third they period because they, well, they know they've got to they've got to try and get some goals yeah. here. Uh, and I think we'll continue to see this uh, be a physical game. There you go. Tyson able to drop it to himself and then send it in deep. Good. Engberg pressuring Anderson. Puck gets passed. Nice Played out to center. Gavin Sperling stops up just inside the zone. Tried to center. Bush will take it away for Coon Rapids. Flips it out to center on the backhand. Anderson back in his own end. Nice Long pass ahead. And here's Sperling back into the zone, trying to get around Barsness and does. Uh, Taken into the boards lead. by Novak, and, and there's both officials' yeah. hands went up on that one. And we'll see what well, Novak's a physical player. It's decided. Yeah, it's going to, uh, yep. No, they're talking. That shouldn't be a five. He was turning, it's boarding. I, like they're saying here, I'd take two minutes for boarding. You know, play happens so right. fast, and when a guy's, you know, he's turning towards the boards, but the check's happening as he's starting to turn, so he gave him a yeah, rough. Yeah, we'll see it here. Yeah, you see a lot yeah. of numbers, yeah, though. But yeah, numbers. he's turned. He yeah. called it roughing. Huh. Oh, big power play for Elk River. They well, need yeah, they need it. One here. They need it, and that, I mean, the, the Cardinals, you know, fortunately up by three goals, but they certainly want to stay out of the box. But he... It wasn't a vicious hit. He didn't throw him into the boards from a dangerous spot, but definitely numbers. Yeah. And that is uh, the kind of thing they're trying to get out of the game. Yeah. Potentially dangerous. Yeah. Right. I have no problem with that. No, absolutely not. It's physical enough the way it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Mears shot is blocked right back to him. The second shot got wow. through the save. Rebound didn't get through. Engberg will send it all the way down. Yes. Engberg hustling. That's his game. Yep. Uh, he's the grinder. He's the power forward. Yep. He'll not afraid to get in there and muck it up and force the puck free. Okay, keep him on the perimeter. Hansberger up top, fakes there the shot. Down. And Hazelwood, a yeah. good stick. And now Caden Alfin will lead the rush. He's knocked off it as he enters the zone. Stays on top of it. We'll just try and freeze it and kill some there time. And there's a steal up front, a backhander over the net for Caden Alfin. Excellent effort. Yeah, and just, just great hustle. Though. Just lacks a daisical play yeah. on the yep. Elks part on the power play. That's how we saw yep. the shorthanded goal yep. happen. Just not being assertive on mm -hmm. your power play. Yeah. If Elfin, your team does yeah. not have full possession of the puck Two on man. the power play, you should have an extra man there. Absolutely. 100% of the time. Elfin really hustling. Shot was deflected in on Wagner. We're going to get another Cardinal power oh, play. That one there I would uh, detest. Yeah, that one there was... Uh, Again, it was a check. Yeah. The guy happened to be falling down, and they're going to call a penalty because the boards make a lot of noise. They do. Yeah. And so that uh, we got a couple of Cardinals uh, in the box. Well, Bush going in the know, box. 35 seconds. And this is how you let another team back in the game. Exactly. You just have to be very disciplined, and the referees are calling everything that makes noise. So, yeah. They're going to call. I think Coon Rapids is going to call a timeout. Or is it? Elk River called the timeout. My bad. Rest their, rest their top well, players. actually, actually, Coach Frock, Coach Frock signaled it as well. Maybe they yeah, both maybe they wanted both did, a timeout. Yeah, just talk about things. I mean, here. it's a good time for a timeout for both teams. Yep. Um, yeah, because that I mean, obviously, for Elk River, you're down three. You have a great opportunity, but you yeah. got to get your best players rested yeah. Yeah. and ready. Because they've been and out. And for Coon Rapids, yeah. you got to kill a five on three. You need to make sure you're all on the same page. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The top line's been out for about four plus minutes already in this period. Look at what's coming up. We've, we've got lots of action. Basketball coming up on Thursday when the Cardinals host the Champlain Park Rebels. We'll see the girls basketball team next week against Anoka. And girls hockey, their regular season finale when they host 
the, the Trojans. Wyzetta Trojans already. Yeah, Wyzetta just got beat by Minnetonka eight to nothing the other night. Yeah, so. it, it, it's a little bit of a down year for the yeah. for the Lady Trojans. Yes, it their, is. Their was, boys team is phenomenal. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're very good. good. I was talking to my buddy who coaches uh, Free Dining. He says Wyzetta is definitely down this season from years past. Well, that happens. Yep. It yeah, does. And I think their boys seem second in state right now. Yeah, they were. They got beat by a dynamo. Were they, for a while were they the first day. for a while? Were they first for a little while? They were, I thought. Yeah, yeah, they were for a little bit. No, they're a good hockey team. Great opportunity. Oh. Five on three. The faceoff win, though, escapes Cole yes. Mears, and he's got to go back into his own end. A little less than 30 seconds on the two man advantage. Mears will send it down and around. Out to the point. Anderson. To the top of the circles, the shot saved by Wagner, and he's able to cover up. Right on the doorstep yeah. is Creech. As they should be, because the goalie's hot. You want to put guys in front of him and get in his way. Don't let him see that puck. Right. The Elks did it there, but Wagner, he saw it. Well, he, you know, you talked about he's just playing so well tonight, and, you know, just gets that opportunity to make sure that doesn't get by him. And One time out. Bresnan rings it off the glass. Ooh. Mears can't keep it in. There you go. Pressure him. Pressure him. This one, one deflected in. Bresnahan oh. fans on the clear yeah, and the second down. time gets it out. All right. One's over. First penalty is over. And that one in close enough. The Wagner can get a hold of it. He'll freeze it. Make sure they get uh, the right grouping out yeah. there. 121 to go on the power play for Elk River. Well, they can breathe a little bit easier now that they, uh, yeah, they just got the, the uh, <laughs> five on four. Well, the good thing is if they score, then at least you're back to five on five right. and they wouldn't have a second power play. So that's good to get that first one off the board. Now to the line, Anderson across for Mears, back across, up top, Anderson, one touch, Mears. Two saves for Wagner. No. And the puck ends whistle. up in the net. I don't know that he ever had it. A whistle. It was under him and then popped yeah, they blew, I think it was a kind of a quick whistle, guys. But That's three tonight that yeah. have kind of went the Cardinals' way. But Yeah, and he, another oh, head-scratching head moment oh, for man. Coach Ben Gustafson. Yeah, oh, and oh, yeah. he's got to be frustrated. Yeah, this, this is definitely a quick whistle. Wagner down, and there it does look like it's frozen, but it clearly got by. You can see by the time it was in the net that the, the referee had already put his whistle to his mouth. Yeah, that's that's a quick whistle for whether, sure. Whether that's the whistle or whether the whether intent it's a, of the whistle. Yeah, right. whether it's the right decision or yeah. not. It does look like he had it It did underneath him and then, you know, clearly the whistle yeah. was either blown or in the process of blowing from a top. There's the second one. Oh yeah, it never went oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. Bresnahan oh. put wow. it in himself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoops. President Anza, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So, but again, the bounce is just not going the Elks way. The uh, referee thought it was underneath the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think that just blew a quick whistle. And that's, unfortunate. that's unfortunate for Elk River. That should, that probably should, that should have been a goal. One hundred percent. Well, got to get breaks. Grand Rapids getting them. They have to deflection out front, the missed top. wide. They recover quickly. Anderson walks in. The deflection went oh. wide. A jam shot off the pad of Wagner. Mears tried to go back door. Spinning oh. shot by Hansberger. Deflected wide. This one deflected up and out. Pressure, pressure. You have that guy still in the zone. Step up on him. Yeah, just clear that puck. Into the there pressure, you go. and that one is cleared. Anderson got a piece of it, but could not stop it. Yeah. Alfin pressuring down ice. Down to the final 15 seconds of this Elk River power play. Left back for Hansberger. His pass is going to come out of the zone. And you can see that top unit They're for tired. Elk They're River tired. just dead. Yep, yep. They're Mears. definitely tired. Into the middle. This is a chance for Hansberger. Tried to get it back down low. The penalty is over. Mears recovers. Tried to center. Hit escape. Chopped at by Hazelwood. Great hold at the line by Hansberger. Popped up in battles, the air. Yeah. Win that battle there. Uh-oh. Played across. Mears out front. A deflection over the net. 
off the stick of Gavin Sperling. Cardinals clear. They'll take the icing for yeah. that one. Yeah, they will, just to get a little bit. 17 to go. A little of that congestion in front of the Cardinal, and that uh, got opportunity to get bodies, fresh bodies on the ice. And Well, the shots are 14 to 1 right now for Elk River in this period. The Cardinals yeah. are just hanging on, but yeah. the problem's been penalties. they got to yes. stay out of the box the rest of the way and finish the job here. Got to win that battle. They lost another one, got... Got to get goal side. What? Quick shot stopped up by Wagner. Good job by Novak to clear that puck. And it's like they've tried to sink into a defensive posture, yeah. but when yeah. they fall out of the structure that works best for right. them, they just, it doesn't work. Uh, how's, that, wow. how's that not a penalty? <laughs> was a because they're up 4-1. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose, but was, still. It was a hold. But that was on. totally a hold. Come on, bump it in. There you go. You're not biased. No, no bias here. No. They're pretty good. But yeah, I would I would agree. And if he if they're not up for one, That's I think called. that probably gets called. But yeah, you know, Stickler could probably say that uh, Barsness tried to sell that a little bit as well. Well, you know, sometimes you can sell it and get a call too. Pass across eludes Katzian. Shot misses wide. Mirrors back to the point. Quick shot stopped up out front and then. Sent toward the net. Wagner had no idea yeah, where no it was, was right but fortunately him. it was yeah. underneath his bat. Well, I'll tell you what. Clint Rambis has to pick up their intensity. Got to keep battling. Try to get that puck out of your end because right now Elk River right. just pressed the well, bars. You know, the Barnes brothers were out there for a shift together. There. Yeah. Oh, well, good. You know, Cardinals are fortunate that it's still 4-1 because oh, yeah. the way that Elk River's been outplaying him here in third, this third period. Yeah, again, 16-1 to one shots yeah. on goal. We're barely halfway through the period. There you Again, go. two penalties makes a difference, right. but not that big a difference. Alfin will swing it around. Tyson waits and gets it to Engberg through center. With speed, trying to go high short side off the blocker of Greniak and up out of play. Good. That's better. Found the open man, got the red line, got down, got a shot. Just need more of that. Get that puck out of your hand. Puck, uh, puck stuck up in the, in the netting. Yeah. Oh, that happens. I'm sure they're... Doing a lot of work, getting those pucks out every day. Yep. There's always one or two up there. Alfin with a face-off win. Tried to flip it on net, but fan. Wink Tyson in the corner, out to the point. Gets it back from Hazelwood. Trent Tyson walking in, top of the circle shot. Glove save for Gavin Greniak. Good. That's more of what they need to do right yep. there. And every time you keep it down 20, 30 seconds, now the clock's in three minutes. Right. Keep, and, and again, just keep, keep it clock. down. Keep it down in the Elk River yeah. end. Don't give them that opportunity to try and get another tally. Keep clock. Shoot it. Angberg sends that just wide. Anderson will swing it around. Jasper takes a look and starts up ice. Gets to the red line, dumps it in. Wagner will yeah. sidle over and hop on top of it. Yeah, he's, doing, he's done that all night, and that's worked fine for him. Just don't let Elk River get down, set yep. up, get any flow into their offensive now, so, structure. So far, 47 saves tonight. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's, he's, had a, he's had a game. Not over yet. Got to finish the no, job. No, I, I said so far. Funny things got, happen. Yep. Yes, absolutely. You've seen it. Oh, I've seen it. You've lived it. It's not fun when you're uh, <clears throat> getting a situation where all of a sudden one goes in and then the momentum changes. Right. Well, that's the thing is the momentum is the key. I mean, yeah. well, and, and I mean, unless something changes, this will be a game of we were so close yeah. for Elk River. I mean, well, you think about one that second away at, second, at the end, end of the, the period, second period. And then that last and then one. And the quick whistle here. Could be 4-3. And, they, and they've had a number of other chances that have been very close. And then go back yeah. to the first period, oh, the two-on-one that yep. mirrors thought he was just dropping into yeah, a wide open right. net and he got robbed he learned Wagner was on his game well and then second period off that face off the yeah. big one timer from Cooper Anderson yep. and that was stone cold robbery on the part of yes, Will Wagner absolutely 47 saves on the night for the Cardinals senior captain netminder yeah well, you know that's that happens in hockey you get a hot goaltender you can have a tough night trying to get a puck by him there you go fill that lane good There you go. Wagner sweeps it along. Hazelwood ahead, tipped in by Golan. Swept behind by Mason Tell. Yeah. Golan go. continues to pressure. Tell now with it behind his own net. 
Yeah, good pressure right back in. And not there. Sperling into the zone. It's tripped up, but no call this time. So now you manage the game. The Twin Rapids just get pucks in. Make sure it gets in. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty behind, uh, wow. between the legs, pass by Eli Bowden, gave a chance for Tyler Bars this. Get on, there you go. Get him on Gusniak, the court. Reniak rather able to make the save. Shot on by Johnson, turned away by Wagner. Andrew Clark carries go. to the corner and circles behind. Looking for that support, top of the circle, sends it across. Bush recovers off the boards. Toward the net, sticked away by Grenier. Jasper plays it back behind for Anderson. Overskated the puck. Clark is there to pressure. Oh, you got that one right in the chin. Yeah. Hit in the corner on Anderson. He's a little slow to get up. No, he bent. And we he are going to get it. He's going to call that from way down there now. What the world's that? Goodness sakes. Well, you know, he was turning. He was low. He ran into the, the player there. I don't didn't see any intent on that, but. Yeah, Luke Rising gets called for the penalty. Man, you talked about it, Jerry. He's continue to just stay out of the box, yeah. but you know, this is the third penalty here in this third period for Coon Rapids. Hmm. Yeah. But he clearly turn, got turn, clipped the, clipped the turn, chin. Turned sideways, and the shoulder got the chin, but. Well, they got to kill another penalty. Well, and here's where, again, they, the, the the Elks need to be way more aggressive on their power yeah. play. Yeah. I mean, they can move it really well, but it's got to get toward the net, right. for one. And, and they can't be as passive in the entry and in yeah. the, when Coon Rapids is challenging them uh -oh, for pucks. Getting the net. Wagner got turned well, around, got tied up oh, with Hazelwood a little bit, there. but oh, Alvin able to clear it all the way down. Stay in the net if you, you're going to get in trouble there. Now, fortunately, they were able to clear it. Got a little lucky again. Yep. Luck's been on their hey, side today. That's okay. You'll take it. Hugely. You'll take it. slips it through, but that pass didn't click. And now a race for the puck and Bresnahan. In on the breakaway, he scores! That's a big one. A second shorthanded goal for the Cardinals, and that should pretty much seal the deal well, again, you turn with 4.27 to go. Sorry, effort, Joe. Holly, effort. Yeah, you turned that puck over, and, and Bresnahan just wanted it more. Yeah, Rowan was not going to be denied there. He, he showed that a number of times. Against Spring Lake Park, he also made a play down. Race into that puck and there, nice move as he goes well, to the backhand forehand and that opens you know, up. I, again, you pointed out early in the period that that first line wow. is out there every other yep. shift, <laughs> especially on power plays. Mears just had absolutely no gas left no. to try and and catch up with Bresnahan. Once yep. Bresnahan got the uh, got that step on him, it was all over. Yeah, it was all over. Then it was well, it was up to Greniak and yeah, unfortunately nice for. The Elks Greniak couldn't make the save. Yeah, he, he made him move. He made him shift one step to his left and put it right in the short side. Nice hit by Alfin to bump a man off the puck, and Engberg comes up with it. He'll attack. Stripped off his stick by Kotzian. Boy, what a big goal for him. I mean, yeah, right. On the a shorthand, as Joe said, second hand, shorthanded goal of the game. Two shorties against a good power play yeah, is a good absolutely. Night. Yeah, so far, I mean, the power play is 0 for 5 and, and trying to be 0 for 6. There you go, out. And that should just about kill that this penalty. And, yeah, Grenick's going to have to cover oh. with Bowden crashing in. And, uh, well, he like, does, doesn't have to go with put a stick towards no. the goalie there on that point. Just no, yeah, but let it be. He, had it he can go challenge. And, he can. Uh, and Grenick, that's a, that's a frustration penalty for I mean a goalie and even the go Cardinal goalie coach is asking yeah. for a for a penalty because I mean he knows yeah as a goalie you get frustrated yeah. and that's a frustration yeah I mean he he clearly uh, punched out it at him he, he and he's gonna get away with the trip if it's not a 5-1 game I don't know uh, that he I does just, I was just gonna say that Joe to your point but, earlier but certainly uh, you know the refs aren't gonna call that 
against the goaltender right. uh, in this situation. Yeah, good kill, another, another kill. There you go. Challenge the puck. That's a big swing there, though. Okay, it's going to finish the game off now. They've got to finish it off in style. Good. Bresnan able to poke it back to center. Tyson with speed into the zone. Bowden back to Tyson. Lost it in his skates. He's bumped off it. Bowden tried to center. Puck still loose. There's some hustle right there. Good. Chopped at, and the Alps able to get it out. Sweet flips it into the Coon Rapids end. Hazelwood lost the handle, able to get it back. Bowden. Third. Pass was behind Tyson. You know, five unanswered goals. I mean, you know, Elk River started the scoring. Well, and, and being outshot 50 to 22. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is a this is a goaltender that comes in with a with a safe percentage of 919. Yeah, yeah right? that's pretty good. And uh, right now he's he's barely over 750. Yeah, that's that's going to hurt the average a little bit. Well, he, they say all those shots down low between the dots, below the dots. Yep. Tough to save those all night. Cardinals able to force it back out. Mears right back in. Snapshot. Blockered up into the netting. Yep. We'll have a face off of the Cardinal end. 2-11 to go. Puck is looking like a beach ball for Wagner tonight. Everything he sees, he's able to just flick his blocker out there, his stick, his glove. He's just had a night. And without him, it might be a different score right now. Yep. It might be one of those Absolutely. Seven to five. Well, and, and how different is this game if Mears scores, capitalizes yeah, right. on that that goal in the yeah, first period? Exactly. And it's the only difference is instead of sliding it at, actually shooting it in once he made yeah. that move because yeah. he had the whole oh, net. Yeah, how different a game is it if they have that that early lead yeah. and put that kind of pressure and anxiety onto the Cardinals bench exactly. and and get that momentum on their their side? I mean, but. Yeah, clearly luck was on the Cardinals side tonight and not in the, on the side of the well, Elks. It's their turn. But Finally, they, they well, get yeah, some the, luck. And you'll take it. You'll take yeah, it. The, yeah, you'll absolutely. take the luck that on a night. Because it, it looked like they were going to be outplayed early in that first yeah. period. And well, they, they have been outplayed uh, for here, much of this well, game. Well, and then here in the third period, they've been, for the most part, yeah. been play, outplayed all, all period yeah, they, long. They only have three shots on goal yeah. in this third period yeah. compared yeah. to 19. Yeah. So yeah, outshot 19 to three in the period. Yeah. They've given up three penalties. Uh, six of those shots, yunned officially on the power play. Yeah. And that'll be icing, and that's yep. okay with the Cardinals. Well, get yeah. some new guys out 110 there. to go. Well, the second period saved them. They played a very good yes, second period. Yes, they did. They uh, played, uh, you know, as, bad, as probably as poor as the first period they played. That's how good of a second period they played. And that's the kind of hockey they have to play every period yep. the rest of the way. Yep. Yeah, this third period, they've maybe they've went to a defensive shell, but they've battled. I mean, they well, have you, not given them great chances down low. Yeah, I know. You take, the, you take the ice up 4-1 to start the third, so maybe they, you know, they did take a little lightly, but well, and those two that five on three happened pretty early yep. in the in the period as well. So I say, finish the game off for your goaltender now, and just yeah, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Barsness to center. He will carry it in down so the right fast. wing. Centers Tyson not able to direct it on net. Elks get there it back out to Here's center. Who's your partner? Red in. Okay. In. Yeah, you don't need any more goals. You need no. the puck in their end. Just get it to the red line. It's very Maybe. hard. It's very hard to score from your defensive end. Really yes, hard. it is. There you go. You're one on four in. Right, right idea. There you go. And that should do it. Yeah, under 10 seconds to go. Cardinals are going to get their fourth straight win, and they do it in style. Two shorthanded goals. Their power play yeah. was one for one. Yep. Their penalty kill was 0 for 6, and their goalie made 50 saves. 50, yep. saves. 50 saves. That's that's yeah. phenomenal. Well, uh, that's phenomenal. It's, it's a big win for them because yep. that vaults them maybe into fifth place, depending on how Champlain did against Centennial. And, and Centennial's playing pretty well. They're, yeah. they're, they're well. currently in number one. Number in the in the first place in the Northwest Suburban. Yep. So uh, it's a big win, and 
a, a timely win as you look at just a, a couple weeks yeah. left in the regular season. Yeah, the signature win. It's, this is the type of game they have to win to get confidence yeah. heading down the stretch. Because they've had hard times against good teams. But today they hung in there. They they played a game that got them what they needed to win. I and, mean, and your goaltender kept yeah. in the yeah, kept the, the score down yeah, to just the and, one goal. And quite frankly, they had a lot of shots Elk River, but yep. they did not have a lot in the house at that nope. period. They're from nope. the perimeter. They're from the point. And Wagner was seeing those all day. Yeah, good, good win for Coon Rapids, for sure. Well, I, I, I can't get over it. Special teams are always important, yes. but you can't have a better night on special teams oh. than yeah. what the Cardinals had tonight. Yep. Yep. 0 for 6 on, the, uh, on yep. the penalty kill. Elk River did have 14 of their shots on the power play. Yep. They had two different five on threes. They killed off all six yeah. penalties, got two shorthanded goals to boot, and right. then they're one for one on their power play. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. that was something. Nice win. That, that's their 11th win of the season. They'll go, move yeah. to 11 and 4. Yeah, well, very good season so far, yep. and it keeps on going. And there you go, the star of the game, unquestionably. Yes. The netminder senior captain, Will Wagner. A fantastic 5-1 win for the home team. Elk River back to the drawing board after... Playing a pretty solid game and doing yeah. a lot of really good yeah. things. The thin score. Uh, just not able to find the back of the net nearly enough. They'll fall to 9 8 and 1 on the season. Cardinals, uh, I think they travel to Andover on Saturday well, this for is a good, an afternoon that's, game. It's a good win for them heading into really that game. Tough yeah. Yeah, they're, they're a tough team, but you yep. know what? But I nice saw them earlier in the year when they played Rodgers, yeah. and quite frankly, I'd stack them up with Elk River as a team. They have a couple guys you got to watch out for Andover. They play hard. They play very physical, so they'll have another physical game coming up yep. on Saturday. Well, we will have basketball coming up on Thursday. Or on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Sorry. It, it, is it, is it is Thursday. It is Thursday. We have uh, basketball both games next week, yep. uh, Tuesday and Thursday. There you see it in uh, girls hockey. Five, <laughs> regular season finale already yeah, next crazy. Saturday. Crazy. And we'll be here for that game against the Trojans. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, Coon Rapids 5, Elk River 1. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro and Jerry Grant, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.